Good morning everybody, happy Friday. So we are slowly but surely getting packed out, ready to go home. Um, I didn't film yesterday, it was basically a repeat of Wednesday where we just did my workout in the morning, had breakfast, really chilled, and then went to theme park for most of the, from like 10 till like one. Miles went down for a nap after lunch, got in the hot tub, child, well, baby free. Um, it's way more relaxing without baby, obviously. And I just don't like him being in it too much. He's only been in it once, but he loved it. He's currently raiding the suitcase and putting on my clothes. But yeah, we're just sorting, getting everything packed away. Not too bad. Um, I try and be quite organized with where the dirty laundry goes and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, Miles is having fun destroying the clean laundry that I haven't used. Miles, hello. Standard welly boot attire. Hello. Yeah, I tend to, um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I tend to use the bin liners because each room usually has a bin for dirty washing. So then you know, and literally we just put the dirty washing in. So it keeps it separate as well, which is always a good thing, especially if you haven't brought any liners or anything with you. But, um, yeah just trying to trying to sort everything out miles aren't we my little bear miles miles <laughs> yeah don't plan on doing a workout this morning we actually have to check out at nine usually the time is 10 but i think because of this covid thing everyone's checking later we can check in till like near a five it was crazy and we have to check out at nine instead of ten it's kind of annoying but um we're always up early anyway. Miles has been up since six. <sighs> so, um, yeah, not going to get my work in, workout in this morning. It's quarter eight already. We're going to literally pack up the car and drive on our way back. And we passed Lyme Regis. You may remember years and years ago, before Miles. Um, probably about four years ago, I would say. Might be able to find the video and vlogs. But we, we did go to Axminster for a another little lodge break midweek it may have been easter break i think it was probably an easter break um i went we were stayed at in axminster which is probably about half an hour 40 minutes from here we went to lyme regis seaton we basically just went around that area for the week and it was lovely so we plan on dotting to lyme regis beach um this morning and just, I don't know, maybe finding coffee, maybe a bacon bath, I don't know, we'll see what we can find. But it's a really nice pebbly beach and it would be nice just to do something on the way back because we've pretty much stayed here the whole week. We haven't really ventured anywhere apart from last night when we went to the, yeah, the Greendale Farm for dinner, which was really nice. They've got like a little playground as well. So we did that. They've got animals and everything. It's like a little small small holding um and the food was really really nice and the weather was incredible yesterday honestly it's incredible so warm uh, it literally felt like summer's day um yes yeah, so we haven't really been out at all but it's been nice honestly it's been so relaxed been the most relaxed week we've had in such a long time just to, like all of us stay together played uno till like 10 o'clock last night Miles went down like seven. He's been, oh, he's just been amazing this week, just sleeping. Cause you just, you never know with toddlers. They get, it can obviously really throw them, but he's been absolutely fine. I think it's, his days have been so busy and he's been napping. We've literally had to like wake him for his naps because he's just been sleeping too long. Honestly, I can't complain this week. It's been so chilled. Everyone's been in routine. It's just been great. And the kids went crazy on all the rides yesterday at Creeley. Went to all the other bits that we haven't been on. Give you another little tour of the rooms. It's a walking wardrobe. It's the ensuite. The ensuite's pretty little. To be fair, like, I used the shower once in here, but I just found it quite small. I preferred the other one with the bath. But yeah, the ensuite. Going in its room. We've had the bed obviously turned up because Mars's cot has been there. You can see another one of the beach house lodges there. But yeah, built and wardrobes and lots of space. Another pile of towels. We just obviously pile them up ready for them to be cleaned. But this is the family bathroom. It's the shower that pretty much everyone's been using. And then the bath for Miles. Alice has got the smaller twin 
but there is a built-in wardrobe here as well which he hasn't used he's pretty much just used his out of his bag typical boy we got their living space yep. <laughs> Maybe coming, coming through. This is a utility. Only realised literally yesterday that we have a washing machine. Didn't even notice that. And that's a bin. It's just really cool though to have an extra dumping ground basically for like shoes and there's like ironing board, all sorts in there. Um, iron. But yeah, this is like the living space. Just obviously packed up. The idea of. I feel like I gave it a good overview but it's very spacious sort of living area out onto the decking all right we are getting there getting there this area is sorted all the rooms are sorted just got the bags ready just bits of everything in each bag <laughs> oh it's got my weights in it we can hear those airplanes going let me take that one my hidden weights are in this one at the bottom you got your bowl <laughs> right, we just put them here because Daddy knows where to put things, doesn't he? He knows to organise it. Pain's going we've got on. empty bait at the moment, and we've got the roof of the box, obviously. Got scooters in there. Is that all for up there? Yeah. I think we are packed. You ready? Got a pillow, <laughs> yeah, minions. Bye bye, Creeley. Off to oh, Lime Regis. 22 miles on the same road. 21 miles on the same road. 40 minutes. It's sunny, glorious. I'm hoping. I would be surprised if Miles goes for a nap. I can see the beach, the pebbly beach. We've come all the way down. Mom. Don't ever park at the first car park. Mom, that's why right at the top of the hill. Mom. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. We're here. Look at those parking spaces, thankfully. Oh, we better wrap up. Everyone looks really wrapped up because it's only, I think it's like six degrees. It, like, it looks glorious, but I guarantee it is going to be bitter. You're going to go on the beach, Ranch? The beach! The beach! Give me a coffee. I'm Regis. The love. Pebbles. Big stones. I'm alright, I'm wrapped up. He's trying to throw himself in. <laughs> My arm's hurting. Already? Yeah. <laughs> Dropping the stones. Shouting at. I'm shouting at the sea. That is skimming. There's some skimming. Mummy, watch how far I can Go on then. Go, go, go. Ice creams, found the coffee.
watching a little bit of Lion King and then he was just out. Sweet home. Just been faffing, doing a obviously just putting things in their places. Um, first load of washings on, putting all the toiletries away. What? You've had a poo poo? You had a poo poo? He loves being home, don't you? Um, yeah, I've just got to put the uh, toiletries to put away. I've got a few loads of, loads of washing obviously to go on. This is basically what I took with me. It literally feels like I've had a professional cleaner in my house. My mum has literally cleaned my house from top to bottom. It feels like super fresh. I've got like lines in the carpet, you know? Bed's been changed. Well, I just need to put the clean sheets on there in the tumble dryer, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to come home to a fresh, fresh house. Oh my God, the amount of parcels I've had delivered. My mum probably thinks I'm a shopaholic. It's always away though, when I'm waiting on something and it takes time and time and then I'm, a, I'm away and it all comes at the once. I'm excited to open one parcel that I've been waiting for, over two weeks for. This woman's best one. So I've been doing the Chrissy Seller workouts like on her app for probably over three weeks now and just been loving it and she had like a 30% off discount code for her um, protein that she collabs with women's best it's like a chocolate fudge so i've ordered that and then i ordered they basically had like a 30 percent off this set um of like the pre-workout and whatever so i just ordered that but god it literally has taken maybe even three weeks to come so much stuff to put away <laughs> yeah so i ordered whoa i didn't know it's going that big um let's hope i like it i'm sure i'm not usually that fussy this is the chocolate fudge brownie. Look at that. That's actually really good value. How much was the set? I don't even know, I can't work it out. And then like, I think it was like 45 pounds or something for like this. The pre-workout, which she loves as well. This is the tropical ice. And then also the BCAAs as well, which is in the Rainbow Candy. So they're quite big, 40 servings, 60 servings in this one. And the shaker as well, I think all together it's like 45 pounds, which actually is really cheap because I usually buy a smaller protein for like 20 pounds on its own. And it's like half the size of this. So yeah, I'm excited to try I'm excited to try these. Um, that is Chrissy Seller, if you're wondering. She's on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. I've only honestly just found the world of Chrissy Seller. Um, and I'm excited for a new shaker. Definitely in need of one. And then I also ordered just a couple of clothing pieces, which honestly I just have no idea if it's going to be any good. So I got the khaki green sort of sports bra. I got the small in both. There's like padding in these actually. Looks really nice actually. Stretchy. And then also the khaki green sort of longer short. No idea what these are going to be like. Ooh. Ooh, they look quite skimpy. I get a bit funny with shorts. I'm not like keen on my legs. I don't know. I have to try them on. But I just thought, obviously I'd put a top over the sports bra. I'm not one to just have a sports bra and then just don't feel very comfortable like that unless obviously i'm in my own gym or whatever but um yeah gonna give them a go let's hope they stretch because that looks uber tiny how to sort that's ready for the second load of washing i need to sort out all this oh like so much to do oh and i just want to say like i'm no way at all ad sponsored by chrissy seller or anything i just really you know like obviously i love my fitness but i get really bored quite easily and i just needed a challenge and i think one of her ads popped up on instagram and she was doing she basically does like a 14 day free trial and I thought, well, 14 days, like two weeks, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And you really know after two weeks. 
so I thought I'd give it a go and honestly I'm like three and a half weeks in absolutely loving her workouts I'm also doing the 30 day challenge at the moment um which she's still posting although it's on the app she's still actually posting all the moves on her Instagram as well but yeah it's just a really good challenge um for me I just I need something just to push me oh you do crack me up <laughs> Right, I'm gonna, these are just come out of the time I dry up my mum wash, so I'm gonna put these back on our bed, so if anything, we can at least get back into our comfy bed tonight. Green's gone back down the farm, can't keep a farm away from his farm for too long. He has been amazing though, like he's been so good at just switching off, he's, re he's read half his book, which is a miracle. Graham doesn't really read, um, if you do I really, I just, I never really feel like I have enough time to focus and really take in a book. Um, but yeah, he's telling me all about that book. I think I showed you a couple of vlogs back. So, um, yeah, he, he has really relaxed. I thought I'd tell you a little story actually about, um, I was saying about working out and whatever. I'm actually back to work tomorrow, which is a bit rubbish. But, um, so I applied for one of my local gyms. And, uh, yeah, basically was chatting to the lady on the phone about, what was available it was basically a part-time position they didn't really give any idea in the um application when you apply about what sort of shifts um but i thought you know what's what's there to lose sort of thing I applied for it i uh, spoke to the lady on the phone and she was really lovely and then she just gave me the hours and what they're looking for and blah 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 and I was kind of, I got off the phone and I was like buzzing in some way and then in another respect it just doesn't suit our life at the moment um, which is such a shame like I should have gone to, for an interview on Sunday but I rang up and I just said like there's not really any much much point because you've given me obviously the hours that you're looking for and it's just it won't suit nursery it won't suit our life with children and little ones especially it was literally like two evenings a week it was 20 hours a week two evenings a week and a weekend so either a saturday or sunday every other week nine to five or a ten to four um it just doesn't suit and it's just so frustrating because i'm so desperate to get back into like the gym industry that i love doing and just yeah just doing what i trained to do and i kind of got really excited about it and then obviously like the hours just are so bad so unsociable which is so normal anyway for personal training and and when people want to train so they were looking for obviously a spin teacher and just someone to teach their hit classes and general PTing as well i could do that in my own time but you'd have to do obviously normal shifts and the shifts like i said were just not suitable I just, oh my God, I just felt so deflated on on Sunday when I rang up. I just, I wanted to say yes. I just wanted to go, yes, I'll take it. Like, I'll take it. Because at the moment I'm in retail and, I, and to be perfectly honest, I love what I'm doing right now. I really enjoy it. It's different. It's a totally different challenge. And the hours suit perfectly. I think that's, that's what's keeping me in retail at the moment is that they're so flexible and I still get to be a mum and we have Miles in Nursery, only a minimal amount and it just works for our family. But yeah, I should probably do a completely separate chatty video about this. But um, yeah, I just thought I would mention that because I, I was feeling quite deflated at the beginning of this week. And speaking about gyms, so I, this gym that I could have potentially had a job with, um, I actually joined, I joined it last year. It's not the gym that I previously worked at, by the way. So I joined it last year and um, February last year, actually. And then we went and I started using it just for pure motivation. Like I was saying earlier, like especially after having miles, um, I think I mentioned previously that I thought I had a little a bit of a prolapse, like that sort of thing. And I was just really struggling with trying to get back into working out without like I'm feeling fit and motivated to do it as well. And also I felt really kind of different after having miles, my, my body. Anyway, I joined the gym and um, then we went into the pandemic and then we hadn't used it for like obviously so long. They froze my account 
and then I used it a little bit in August and then I think I used it a little bit like December when he opened up again um but yeah it's basically been frozen for so long um and it started up again obviously gins have opened again so um yeah and I did actually because in my year would have come up come to an, an end now because you have to stay in like a year-long contract that you can cancel it but they have something in the um clause like the agreement clause about freezing it so I have have to pay for another six months still because it was frozen for so long which I was kind of annoyed about because it's not my fault it's gone through a pandemic blah 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 that's not my fault like I haven't been able to use the gym because you're closed but now I have to stay enrolled for another six months so having to pay for another six months with them before my time is up so um I've obviously got to try and get my money's worth so I've actually booked to go to the gym this evening. I wouldn't usually choose an evening, and actually my idea of using the gym is probably after work, or like on a weekend when Graham's around in the morning, I can nip off for an hour or whatever. But I kind of want to obviously get my money's worth, so I said to Gray that I'm gonna book on, because you've got to book on now, you've got to choose a time slot, it's like an hour and a half time slot. Um, so I'm gonna do that this afternoon, because I haven't worked out today, I didn't work out this morning. So I thought, oh, I'll try back at the gym again. We'll see how that goes. It's going to feel really different, I think, because I haven't been for ages anyway. But, yeah, I'm going to just roll with it. See how we go. Oh. Um, because, to be fair, I do, again, I, li I like being in the gym. Um, it's, I know some people, it's like a love-hate thing, but I actually find that when I'm there, I'm really focused because I've got nothing else to focus on. I've got my headphones in. I just focus on the workout that I plan to do there, get it done, and then I'm home, which, yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty knackered now. So at least I can try my pre-workout, see if that's any good, see if that's tasty. Right, then, back from the gym. Sweaty, miss the slime fun. Apparently this, I just got a message from going while I was in the gym. So I'm like, whoa, this is a nightmare, never use it again. Yeah. Why yeah. was Miles sat in the bowl? Yeah. I just don't get it. Look. <gasps> Ew, and my, my white rug, does that mean it's blue? And you need violet in charge, innit? Right, put some fries on. I got some bits from Lidl after. I got some, because obviously we've got nothing to eat. So I got the sweet chili chicken. I've not tried these before. And then I got the kids some pizzas, because it's obviously pizza night. Um, it's only 20 to six, it's not too bad. So I'm French fries and sweet chili fries. I'm gonna get some bits in the oven. I told Graham to like, preheat the oven, get it ready. I'm oh. already done. Huh? I'd actually already put it on before you message. Yeah, so I've got some quick pizzas for the kids for dinner tonight as well. I'm going to put on maybe just a little bit of a side salad, I don't know. Um, I'll show you what else i got. Um, I'm actually at work tomorrow, but obviously they're going to have lunch here. So I did get um, some mini sausage rolls. Got them a quiche Lorraine for lunch. Blueberries. Shell. I actually way prefer the Aldi version, but we've always loved these as well. They're just great still. Um, but I do prefer the Aldi version. I just find them premier. Um, I've got some whole grain rye bread with sunflower seeds. No. I think I may have tried that before, but I just thought I'd get it randomly. Um, they've had this minor figures oat milk. So I thought I'd try that. Some can of chocolate. This amaranth and orange. This is amazing. Graham gets this usually for me. And then some croissant and then some pea shoot salad how still feels like a laundrette um that has literally just come out of the time of dry that's miles's load so that i just need a fold to put that away and then i've got two more loads left it's like a light load dark load and then i've got one in the time of dryer one in the washing machine yeah definitely a laundrette sorry i look like such to my face honestly i cannot wait to get in the shower but right now i just need to like focus on dinner because miles is getting to that point where he's just getting irritable um i just want to say though i tried the pre-workout I don't actually think I've ever had a pre-workout before. I didn't realise it was actually like a full caffeine kick. Didn't really take into consideration that it's obviously a lot of caffeine actually. Um, but usually I have had BCAAs before. But anyway, this tropical iced 
incredible. And now I'm gonna just have a quick, like a small amount, just like barely half a cup of the chocolate fudge brownie protein. I know, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Okay, so review on the chocolate fudge brownie. It's okay. I am more of a vanilla girl. I think that is, you just have a little sip. It's quite watery. <laughs> you won't like it, you won't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't really taste like chocolate fudge brownie. It's a bit chocolatey, but it's, I don't know. I think if you use, if you use like some sort of milk with it, like normal milk or oat milk or something just to make it slightly creamier or even add two scoops i only added just a one small scoop because it's, it's quite a small amount oh no you can't have that I just some. yeah don't drink anymore it's got my pre-workout in it it's I tight literally i watered it right down um yeah i'm still a vanilla girl i just I love my vanilla protein honestly i still love the one that i have it's the phd one it's just so nice You are so good. The only good thing is that at least you've had a bath now. Like you've had a bath now, haven't you? So at least you can have dinner and then go to bed. Right, no more please. How was the slime bath? Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Did Mars love it? Yeah? Did you love the slime? No, no you can't have any. Just putting away Miles' washing. It's actually mine and Graham's wedding anniversary tomorrow. We've been married 11 years. It is crazy how quick the years have gone, but it's also crazy how quick this year has gone, because obviously last year, 10 year wedding anniversary, it was supposed to be like a big thing, we were gonna do a party, and it just never happened, and this year obviously, still just nothing is going down. But um, I think we're just gonna get the standard takeaway, enjoy each other's company. We've had obviously a really nice week, and actually, it's funny because every time we have a wedding anniversary, we always tend to like, be on Easter break so it just feels like we have a little mini holiday for our wedding anniversary which is so nice uh, I don't know how we managed to plan it like that but we did but yeah 11 years I can't honestly kids are fighting I can't honestly believe like how quick like Alistair it'll be 12 next month I mean just so, it's crazy how quick time goes like oh, i like i remember so vividly when alistair was like 18 months to two years i remember him so well like he had so much hair like he had like full-on like lion's mane <laughs> same colors as well a little bit i'd say like more of a dirty blonde um but yeah it's just time flies honestly and it's just so crazy and sad and to think where we've come in like 11 years it's just insane how our family's grown and changed and how we've like grown up together because i met graham obviously when i was 19 and now i'm 33 so it's just it's just crazy it's crazy how time flies it's very sad actually it's very sad you just want to kind of slow it down a bit all right it's so calling down miles's if i eat all this this will be a miracle i've got two breasts but Graham will eat too, so I can't really do just one pack. But yeah, I, mean, I could always have leftovers for tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's the kiddies. Right. Can't forget the corn on the cob. Lots of butter. Ta da! I didn't even touch the sides, honestly. I was starving he gets pudding because i ate all my dinner same pudding did you do yeah oh, even all your olives yeah. <laughs> Can I get pudding? mars is eating really well alistair's eating well well done everybody showered baby is down and it is 20 past seven i'm gonna watch godzilla versus kong have a little treat and then I have an early shift tomorrow so I've prepped everything for tomorrow and my work clothes or whatever. So I'll be going to bed straight after this movie. Um, but yeah, I just want to say I really hope you enjoyed my holiday vlogs. Um, if you've got any video requests, let me know. I hope you had a lovely Easter. And yeah, I will see you all very soon in another vlog or whatever. 
I may do a grocery haul next week because um, I seriously need to stock up on some food in this house. But yeah, I hope you're well and um, enjoying a little bit of the sort of little bit of freedom that we've got at the moment since the recent lift from the lockdown. And um, I will see you in my next video. As always, thanks so much for watching and have a good week.